Welcome back to another Yardi TV official news headlines. So people, Manchester, Jamaica. Police are now probing the murder of a watchman at a bar in Christiana, Manchester, whose body was found with an electrical cord wrapped around his neck on Wednesday. Police name this man on your screen as 61-year-old Anthony Williams, otherwise called Tony, a resident of Main Street, Christiana, located in the northeastern section of the parish. Police sources said about 11 a.m. Williams was found with his hands and feet bound and an electrical cord wrapped around his neck inside the bar. It is believed that William was attacked between midnight and mid-morning. His body was later discovered at the bar located on a shopping plaza at Brokers Gate in Christiana. He said the establishment was broken into and robbed of an undetermined sum of cash and liquor. So we want to say R.I.P. Condolences to the family of this man here. And hopefully them catch the criminals who did this dirty wicked act. And also, if you want to see the video, a link will be left in the description. Just bear in mind that this video here is a very graphic video, so bear that in mind. So the next thing we are going out of the street now, peeps. The Saint Anne Police have closed one of its parish most popular recreational sites, Little Duns River Beach, following a murder at the location on Saturday. The police believe the killing is part of a gang battle for control of the beach. And people, I have heard this type of scenario many times, but not in St. Anne, more so in Spanish town over Elsha Beach side of the world, where gangs go up against each other, the controlled places where them can extort people because a lot of these free beaches are so called what's supposed to be free beaches aren't free anymore because when you pull up a certain spots there comes some random man out of nowhere I tell you say you have to pay to come in there or you have to leave the place and them thing there so this is now a common practice it seems and it obviously has stretched across the other 14 parishes one by one so you just bear that in mind and be safe out there in the streets. So the next thing we are going out there now, peeps. A 19-year-old Jamaican man has been denied bail after allegedly using a rock to severely injure a man during a fight at a hotel in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, USA. Charged is this brother up on your screen. 19-year-old Kemari Reed, who was slapped with two counts of felony and aggravated assault, including attempts to cast or cause bodily injury with a deadly weapon, according to media reports. The other felony charges are for aggravated assault and it sees him being charged with attempts to cause serious bodily harm with extreme indifference. According to allegations outlined by state police, at about 8.30 p.m. on Sunday, August 28, the Jamaican and the man engaged in a fight over a work issue at La Quinta Inn and Suites located in West Hanover Township. During the scuffle, the Jamaican threw a rock at the complainant before grabbing another and hit him over and over, court documents informed. The complainant was reported to have been gushing blood from his head and was taken to the hospital. Reed was arrested by officers outside the hospital and subsequently charged. During an initial court appearance, Reed was denied bail by a judge on the basis that the charges were of serious nature and the extensive injuries sustained by the victim. Reed remains in custody at the Dauphin County Prison until his preliminary hearing. So people, leave your thoughts in the comment section about this one. Let me know what you think. So before me leave, just a quick update. Yesterday I brought to the story of where a homeless man was deliberately set on fire and lost his life due to that said fire. So now the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development is now offering a $500,000 reward for the arrest of the killers who set this man on fire. And this man's name is Lionel Johnson. I don't have a picture of Mr. Johnson 
but we spoke about him yesterday he was the person that sustained the injuries from the fire and end up losing his life so people if you see something say something and if you know something say something because the way of this man that lose him life was a wicked 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 act wicked act i can't emphasize no more upon it how terrible it was it was an absolute savage act they did to that old gentleman so people leave your thoughts in the comment section about these stories if this is your first time viewing smash the like button if you like the content subscribe to the channel and press the post notification bell so that every time we upload you will be the first to be notified and also follow me on all social media platforms if you want to view the videos a link will be left in the description where you can join the telegram group or follow me on twitter follow me on instagram so people until next time you know pick up on yourself peace I know you're thinking about giving